This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello? Halda Clark Synchrometer was a device she claimed could detect the presence of various substances in the body such as parasites, toxins and pathogens. Halda Clark uh, was a controversial figure in the alternative medicine community and her ideas and devices have not been scientifically validated. At the request of several of my subscribers, I decided to explain to you how you can make such an instrument yourself. The device is extremely simple to make and represents the most common oscillator whose frequency of oscillation depends on a given resistance. In this particular case it will be the resistance of our skin. I want to remind you that I will not at all explain the way of diagnosis using this method but only the technical part that is the way of its production. Uh, the basic version of this device was made at the end of the last century, so some parts are hard to find nowadays, so I will make it with modern components. The most difficult to obtain is the output audio transformer, which was used in small portable radios manufactured in the last century. Instead of this one, I'm going to use two audio transformers, each with a winding ratio of 1300 on 8, which can easily uh, be bought online and the price is less than $2 for 5 pieces. The other parts of which the device is composed are small universal PNP transistor I will use the BC327, but any small signal PNP transistor can be used without any circuit modification. Next, uh, 8 ohm small speaker, also from uh, old portable radio, 50 kilo ohm potentiometer, a 100 nanofarad and a 10 nanofarad capacitors. Two metal plates which are actually open capacitors, probe, I will use one electrode from a multimeter, handhold usually made from a piece of copper or other metal rod, next switches and battery. I will, make, I will make the device in a in as simple a way as possible so that it is understandable for more viewers and so that even those with relatively little experience in, ele in electronics can make it. Uh, first we need to determine the primary and secondary winding of the transformer. We will do it most easily with the help of a multimeter since we measure the resistance. One side has a resistance of about 90 ohms and that is the primary and the second side has a resistance of only a few ohms. Eighty nine ohms, so this is the primary and other side have only 2.9 ohms secondary. Primary. And secondary. Uh, 
To get the mean derivative of the primary winding, we need to connect two such transformers in series as shown in the schematic diagram. The impedance of this type of transformer is, signif is significantly higher, so the value of the capacitors is lower compared to those of the original in order to obtain the same frequency and the speaker output. And now let's look what's inside the box. The main circuit consists of trafo, two capacitors, transistor and potentiometer. Next, small power amplifier on which is connected the speaker. Two metal plates connected to the main circuit uh, via two switches. Uh, 6 volt battery pack and handhold and probe connectors. Uh, now, first we need to test if the device is properly made and working. Uh, we, connect, we connect the handhold and probe electrodes and turn on the synchrometer. Next, turn the control knob clockwise to nearly the maximum. Uh, this reduces the resistance to the nearly zero. We can test the circuit by briefly touching the probe and the handhold. The speaker should produce a sound like popping corn. Uh, these are test plates uh, which serve to put test substances and tissues samples on it. The wiring in it is arranged so that you can switch in either one of two plates. We test their functionality in the following way. Turn on the first switch and touch the plate with the hand while holding the metal pipe. We should listen sound from the speaker. We repeat the same procedure for the other plate. Now that we have ensured that the device is working properly, let's explain in general how to exercise and use this device. Uh, with the control potentiometer, we can finally adjust uh, the frequency and with this potentiometer, we can adjust the sound volume. We need a bowl of wet paper, a piece of dry paper and a piece of wet paper. Uh, warp wet paper around the metal pipe handhold to overlap slightly. The wetness improves uh, conductivity and the paper towel itself keeps the metal of uh, metal off your skin. Next, next pick up the probe in the same hand holding it like ordinary pen. Uh, dampen your other hand by making a fist and, drink, and dunking your knuckles into the wet paper in the saucer. Immediately after dunking your knuckles, dry them on a paper towel folded in quarters and place beside the, beside the saucer. And finally touch with your probe as soon as your knuckles have been dried within two seconds since they begin to air dry further immediately.
This procedure is described in detail in a video by Halda Clark where the method of diagnosis is also described. And finally a short conclusion. This is an extremely simple device to make that only requires a few dollars and a little know-how to make. Unfortunately, online stores sell such a device at a price of several hundred of dollars, which was the main reason for me to make it and show you how you can make it yourself. Out of this, my personal opinion about this method of diagnosis is negative and the basis for this opinion is the fact that the diagnosis is based only on the resistance of our skin and this value depends on many different factors. This video only explains the technical aspect of this device, how to build it.